ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் நமஸ்தே வெல்கம் டு சாரதி ஈஸி குக்கிங் சேனல் டுடே ஐ வில் ஷோ ஹவு டு மேக் ஹவு டு குக் நைன் டைப் ஆஃப் சுண்டல் ஃபார் திஸ் நவராத்திரி ஃபெஸ்டிவல் ஃபார் தசரா லெட் அஸ் சி த இன்கிரீடியன்ஸ் ரிக்வயர்ட் டேக் ஒன் ஹேண்ட் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் பிளாக் பீன்ஸ் ஒன் ஹேண்ட் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் ஹார்ஸ் கிராம் One handful of sweet corn. One handful of kabuli chana. One handful of red chana. One handful of green gram. One handful of black-eyed beans. Hindi we call it chowlai. One handful of dry peas. One handful of red kidney beans. Now soak all these lentils overnight. Now cook black beans in pressure cooker by adding quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and a very little salt and add 2 cups of water and cook well. Do not overcook. Same way cook the peas also. Same way cook the green gram also the horse gram also same way cook the green gram also for sweet corn we need not cook in pressure cooker we can just boil on vessel by adding little salt and turmeric powder sweet corn cooks very fast so no need to put it in the cook it in the cooker for red kidney beans cook it in the cooker by adding little turmeric powder and little salt same way cook the black eyed beans cholai same way cook the kabuli chana also for red chana you need not add turmeric powder add only little salt and cook it in the pressure cooker now heat a kadai or a pan and add 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of oil When the oil is hot add quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds quarter teaspoon of black gram quarter teaspoon of bengal gram quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds half dry red chili break it and add add little asafoetida and fry well When the mustard start crackling add 1 tablespoon of chopped onion and few curry leaves and fry till golden slight golden in color add the cooked horse gram to the onion and add required amount of salt to the horse gram add quarter teaspoon of amchur powder to the horse gram and mix it well at least for half a minute now add quarter teaspoon of cumin powder and fry well for another half a minute till the raw flavor is lost Now add a little garam masala powder and 1 tablespoon of grated coconut and a teaspoon of chopped coriander leaves mix well and transfer to a serving bowl Now for cooked sweet corn heat a pan and add 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of oil When the oil turns hot add mustard seeds black gram bengal gram cumin seeds asafoetida one small green chili and let the mustard to crackle Now add few curry leaves 
and add the sweet corn and mix well. Mix it well at least for half a minute. Now add less than quarter teaspoon of rock salt to the sweet corn and add quarter teaspoon of chaat masala powder to the sweet corn and give a good mix at least for half more minute till the raw flavors are lost. Now finally add 1 teaspoon of grated coconut chopped coriander leaves and mix well and transfer to a serving bowl. This tastes very good because of adding rock salt and chaat masala powder. For black eyed beans or chowlai, heat a pan, add one and a half teaspoon of oil. When the oil turns hot, add mustard seed, black gram, bengal gram, cumin seeds, half green chilli and half dry red chilli, asafoetida and when the mustard starts crackling, add curry leaves, 1 tablespoon of chopped onion, quarter teaspoon of grated ginger and fry well. When the onions turns golden, add cooked black eye beans and add required amount of salt. Mix well and add required amount of salt. Mix it very well, at least for half a minute till the raw flavors are lost and now add 3 to 4 drops of lemon juice and give a very good mix. Finally add 1 tablespoon of grated coconut and little chopped coriander leaves. Mix it well and transfer to a serving bowl. Now for red kidney beans, cooked red kidney beans, heat 1.5 tablespoon of oil. When the oil turns hot, add quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds, quarter teaspoon of crushed fennel seeds. When these seeds turn golden, Add 1 tablespoon of chopped onion, few curry leaves and fry well. Add the grated ginger and fry well till the onions turn slight golden. Now add the cooked red kidney beans and mix well. Now add half teaspoon of garam masala powder quarter teaspoon of ch chili powder half teaspoon of garam masala powder and required amount of salt and fry well at least for one minute. Now add chopped coriander leaves and give a very good mix. Finally add grated coconut and mix well and transfer to a serving bowl. For black beans, heat a pan, add one and a half tablespoon of oil. When oil is hot, add less than quarter teaspoon of crushed fennel seeds and cumin seeds, half
half dry red chilli, one tablespoon of chopped onions, few curry leaves and fry well till the onion turns light golden. Add quarter teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, fry very well. Add half teaspoon of garam masala, quarter teaspoon of amchur powder and mix very well. Add the black beans and required amount of salt. and give a very good mix. Now add the grated coconut, a teaspoon of grated coconut and a teaspoon of chopped coriander leaves and mix very well and transfer to a serving bowl. Now for boiled peas, same way, heat a pan, add one and a half teaspoon of oil when the oil is hot, add little mustard seeds, black gram, Bengal gram, cumin seeds, asafoetida, half dry red chilli and half green chilli. And fry well. When the mustard starts crackling, Add 1 tablespoon of chopped onion, few curry leaves and fry till onion turns golden in color. Then add the cooked peas and mix it very well and cook for at least half a minute. Now add the required amount of salt to the peas and mix well. Add quarter teaspoon of chaat masala powder and grated coconut, few chopped coriander leaves to the peas and mix it very well at least for half a minute and transfer to a serving bowl. Now for boiled red chana, same way heat a pan, add one and a half teaspoon of oil, add, jira, add cumin seeds, mustard seeds, black gram, Bengal gram, Asafoetida, small dry red chilli and mix very well. When the mustard starts crackling, add chopped onions, 1 tablespoon of chopped onions and fry well. When onion turns golden, add quarter teaspoon of grated ginger quarter teaspoon of amchur powder and quarter teaspoon of chana masala powder and mix very well. Sprinkle a handful of water to the chana add the chana and sprinkle a handful of water and lower the flame and cook very well till the water is evaporated and add the salt and give a very good mix. Now add 1 tablespoon of grated coconut, a little chopped coriander leaves and mix well for at least for half a minute and transfer to a serving bowl. Now for boiled kabuli chana, same way heat a pan, 
add one and half teaspoon of oil, add quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds, add quarter teaspoon of crushed fennel seeds, add one tablespoon of chopped onions and fry till the onions turn slightly golden in color. Add few curry leaves, add quarter teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and half dry red chili and half teaspoon of chana masala powder and fry well till the raw flavor is lost at least for half a minute. Now add the cooked kabuli chana with quarter cup of water. and mix it well. Add quarter teaspoon of amchur powder, add required amount of salt, mix well and cook till all the water evaporates on a low flame. When all water evaporated, add grated coconut, a teaspoon of grated coconut, 1 teaspoon of chopped coriander leaves give a very good mix and transfer to a serving bowl. Finally, boiled green gram. To this, same way, heat a pan, add 1 and a half teaspoon of oil, add mustard seeds, black gram, bengal gram, cumin seeds, asafoetida, dry red chilli, when mustard starts crackling, add few curry leaves, and a tablespoon of chopped onion and fry till golden, slight golden color. Add the grated ginger and mix very well at least for half a minute. Now add the cooked green gram and mix very well at least for half more minute. Now add the garam masala powder and mix well. Add required amount of salt and mix well. Add a tablespoon of grated coconut, chopped coriander leaves and mix well and transfer to a bowl. Now all 9 types of sundal is ready for serving. Now you can make one type of sundal every day for this Navratri and offer to God and get her blessings. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot.